Today on Make a Drink, we're making two versions of the Pongo Pongo cocktail. And in my opinion, this might be one of the most underrated tiki drinks of all time. And if you're not into tiki drinks, don't leave yet because these drinks are different. They don't use those warm spices like cinnamon or allspice dram, and instead, it uses the herbal green chartreuse and a white chocolate liqueur. So we're making two versions of the Pongo Pongo cocktail today. One is the original version from 1940, and the second is a version that I just kind of stumbled across as I was looking at a menu and substituting with the ingredients I had on hand. And I think that version is actually better. Now the Pongo Pongo is mainly known today because a version of it is on the menu at Trader Sam's at the Disneyland Hotel. And due to Jeff the Beach Bumberry unearthing this recipe in his book from 2009 titled Beach Bum Remixed. But the history here is a bit weird. Most recipes you'll find online will cite Beach Bum Remix, and if you're unfamiliar with Jeff Berry, he is probably the most important figure in modern tiki. He's written several books, and due to his research over decades, he's uncovered many recipes that have been lost to time. His app, Total Tiki, is a collection of all of these recipes, including many more, and it is constantly being updated. It is definitely the best tiki drink app there is, and to me, it is actually one of the best cocktail apps that's out there. It's great at describing rums, and you can input all of the ingredients you have on site or on hand, and it will tell you what cocktails you can make. Now, most citations of this recipe point to Barry's book, where at one point it appears he cited a book called The How and When by Hyman Gale and Gerald Marco from 1940. But that citation is out of date. The How and When was published by The Marco Liquor, which was a chain of at least three liquor stores in Chicago, whose vice president was Hyman Gale, and manager of store number two was Gerald Marco. The book has hundreds of classic cocktail recipes, and the original version from 1937 can be viewed online, and I'll put a link down below. But it was a 1940 reprint that included a new section called Tropical Specialties. And in that Tropical Specialty section, we see a recipe for a drink called the Pongo Pongo. But that's not where this drink came from. Barry has updated the Total Tiki app to cite it as apparently created by Ron Rico circa 1940. Now, if you're unfamiliar, which you probably are if you're not from the 1940s and 50s, Ron Rico was a popular rum company at the time. And similar to Trader Vic's, they had a popular bartender's guide called Chico Presents Ron Rico's Official Meekstro's Guide. And this was released in the 1940s and 50s. It included mainly their own cocktails that featured their own rums, but in 1940, we see a recipe for the Pongo Pongo, and it's believed that the book, The How and the When, lifted these recipes directly from Ronrico, as the recipes are exact duplicates in the new tropical specialties section. To confuse things even more, in Beach Bum Berry Remix, there's another cocktail named the Pongo Pongo, with orange juice, lime juice, grapefruit juice, honey, Angostura bitters, and Jamaican rum. But as pointed out in the book, that cocktail is actually named after the Pongo Pongo restaurant in Tucson, Arizona. And there were in fact many restaurants in the 1950s and onward named the Pongo Pongo, including the Pongo Pongo Club in Portland, the Pongo Pongo with three locations in Chicago, the Pongo Pongo in Maui, and as I mentioned before, the Pongo Pongo in Tucson, and probably many more that have been lost to time. Now, if you are wondering why I keep saying Pongo Pongo and not Pago Pago, it's because that is the capital city of American Samoa, and that's how they say it there. American Samoa has been a territory of the United States since 1900, and during World War II, there were more U.S. Marines on the island than there were locals. And while I have no evidence of this, it's very possible that this drink was named or created with inspiration from service members who were stationed at one point in Pongo Pongo. And as far as tiki goes, that's kind of how a lot of it worked. So many of Don the Beachcomber's recipes were inspired by his time overseas and his time serving overseas. And it's easy to imagine uh, all of these um, veterans coming home from the war, experiencing life in uh, Polynesian culture, were inspired to create uh, drinks like this or have drinks named after places like Pongo Pongo. So finally, let's make the original version and then afterwards we'll make the version that I think is a little better. We're gonna start with three chunks of fresh pineapple, half an ounce of lime juice, a quarter ounce of a white creme de cacao, half an ounce of green chartreuse, 
We're gonna muddle all of these ingredients. Now we're gonna add in one and a half ounces of Bacardi 8 or another aged Puerto Rican rum. Add ice to your tin and shake this for 10 to 15 seconds. We're gonna strain this into a coupe. And garnish with a pineapple wedge. Pongo Pongo. I do like this version. Uh, I think if you like pineapple, the pineapple really shines. Uh, green chartreuse adds like a sweet herbal note to it. The white creme de cacao, it's pretty lost in there. It's only a quarter of an ounce, but it's adding a little sweetness. And we added no simple syrup to this one. So our sweetness is coming from our white creme de cacao, our green chartreuse, and um, the pineapple juice. And I think using fresh pineapple it's such a variable for how much juice you're getting out of it. You know, what is three chunks of fresh pineapple? So the next one we're gonna use is gonna use pineapple juice. And I think it's just gonna get you something more consistent. Now let's move on to the drink that I'm just calling the Pongo Pongo number two, which is a drink that I made on accident while trying to make the original version. Uh, the inspiration for this was uh, Trader Sam's at the Disneyland Hotel where they have it on the menu and have it served on ice. Now you can find online what's possibly the official version from Trader Sam's, but my formulation here was just looking at the menu and where they didn't specify the exact ingredient, I used what I had on hand. So they didn't specify white creme de cacao, so I just used a regular creme de cacao. And they also didn't specify green chartreuse, so I used the yellow chartreuse I had. For this one, we're gonna use three quarters of an ounce of pineapple juice, half an ounce of lime juice, quarter ounce of Tempest Fugit creme de cacao, but you could use any creme de cacao, half an ounce of yellow chartreuse, and two ounces of a Jamaican rum, and I'm gonna be using Appleton Signature, which I think is just a more approachable entry-level Jamaican rum. It's not super funky, and it's something that most people will enjoy. We're gonna whip shake this for 15 to 20 seconds or until the ice is totally dissolved. All right, so let's taste the Pongo Pongo number two. This drink's a little bit confounding. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. The, what I like about this one is the first thing you're tasting is the rum. So we jumped it up from an ounce and a half to two ounces of Jamaican rum. Like I said, this Jamaican rum is pretty approachable. The Appleton Estate Signature, I, th I think it's under $20. And it's, so it's a good value and it's a great rum especially for cocktails. And what's strange is it, it does have this familiarity, which is, you know, pineapple juice, lime juice, and rum. So those are things that if you've had tiki drinks that you're used to, but that um, creme de cacao, it just adds like a hint of vanilla. The chocolate, I don't really get as much, but that's adding some sweetness. I don't know for certain, but I think yellow chartreuse is slightly sweeter. It's, um, it has less alcohol. The green chartreuse is 55 uh, ABV and yellow chartreuse is 40. Yellow chartreuse is 40. Now this one is sitting out longer and they're next to each other. The real difference is the chartreuse. The green chartreuse here is much more intense. Uh, I don't know, it's not as pleasant. The green chartreuse and the white cryptic cacao add a little extra bitterness to, to this one. Getting some of that bitterness from your pineapple juice as well. But um, I like the Trader Sam's version. 
So I, I do love tiki, and when I see tiki recipes, I like to honor the historical recipe, but there are some times where you have to stop and think, you know, this is from Ron Rico's Meekstro Guide. Um, why do we have to honor it so um, intensely? Why can't we change it up? So uh, Trader Sam's um, has this on the menu, a similar version to this. Uh, I don't know if they use white corn cow or not. It's more familiar. I think it's more refreshing and I think it's more enjoyable. So there you go, two versions of the Pongo Pongo cocktail. One from Ron Rico's guide from 1940, and the other, which is a riff of the version on the menu at Trader Sam's today. My name's Derek, this is Make and Drink. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Otherwise, see you on the next one. And if you wanna check out some more tiki videos, or learn how to make your own white creme de cacao, you can check out these videos right here.